Hi guys, how are you? So today I am going to be doing a review on the Pulip Rosen Maiden Shinku doll. So this doll was released in 2006 at several um, online stores, um, one being PulipStyle.com um, and these other small websites that I cannot remember off the top of my mind right now. Um, she is long time sold out now. Um, she originally retailed for 120 to maybe 125 US dollars on several online stores. Now um, she is very hard to come by and if you do find her she will cost you a penny um, up to maybe two to three times um, more than what she originally retailed for. However, I'm being I'm gonna do this review in order to celebrate that the new um, for the new season that came out, the new Rose and Maiden series. Um, there's a new one that just came out recently. I'm so excited. So I wanted to like celebrate by giving you a review on the Rose and Maiden dolls. I do have all of them. However, I'll be doing um, Shingu today, which she is, I think, in my opinion, the main character. Um, so let's get started. And as always, I will tell you pros and cons. And to my knowledge, where you could get her, and do, 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 do. just yeah, let me get started. Okay, <laughs> so here we are. We have our Shinku, as you can see, she is really cute. Um, however, she is not perfect in many ways, which I will talk to you right now. So she comes with this headpiece, as you see right here. It's coming off already. Let me let me show it to you guys. So this headpiece is made out of velvet material. It's it's made out of good quality. However, let me tell you that the downside to velvet material in any way, shape, and form that you find it in anywhere, or like clothing or whatever, gloves, accessories, whatever, is that it tends to catch dust easily. Um, what I mean by that is that she's easy to catch dust, any parts of her outfit. So if you have her behind a closed um, window or glass container should be good. However, if you have an open like me, because you know I have small space, you will have to dust it off frequently, which is what I do with um, all my dolls every week to main to have them um, in good condition. And of course, for the dust, not to ruin um, the doll, because that's what dust does. Dust does. I'm getting tongue tied. It ruins material. We leave it like that for a while. So there you have it. It is connected by these two buttons on the bottom side right here so let's you have that and now let's talk about her wig which I despise I know that's a strong word but I do despise it and now let me tell you why one is that is extremely frizzy look at this people look at this horrible horrible thing horrible thing I'm just gonna call it that it's a thing it's just insane the curls um are just it's just horrible I don't even know whether way to describe this thing it's just not good um, very frizzy it came like this I'm not exaggerating from the box so as soon as you open her you will find this this is not something that I did or it was ha it happened through time no it happened immediately after you really took it out of the box so they eventually undo themselves so I try my best not to touch them and it's the same thing with her front curls they're extremely frizzy and they just, they just suck, guys. They suck, both of them. Um, another downside to her wig is that some, like some other pullet dolls, right? She has a bald patch. So what, but when I say that, guys, is that you could see the netting to her wig on her head. So she is not, she, you know, she's another one of those. So take a look. I don't know if you could see it. She has it there, and she has it to the back. I don't know if you guys could see that. So it sucks because you're paying a lot of money again, and then this is the quality that they're giving you. Um, let's see what else. Oh, she also comes with these ribbon bowls. They're good material. I don't touch them too much, so they're pretty. They're pretty on. They're they're, you know, they're good. Um, so the wig sucks. However. It's up to you. You could rewig her, but since I want to keep her as close to, you know, the anime, I'm not going to do that because that's how the doll is in the anime. Oh, by the way, in the anime, sh the, the Shinku doll is a doll. So, I think this is the best thing you could have in person to really represent the anime if you really love the anime. So, I don't want to change her in any way, shape, or form, but I do want to keep her in good condition, and I do, but, and 
um, by keeping her away from the sun and try not to tamper with her too much. So moving on, her makeup, which is her face up, is of natural color. However, she does have pink outline her eye. She has these anime-like blue chips, but it's very accurate to the anime. I like that. And like other pull-up dolls, they move left and right. These are pretty stiff. And her eyes open and close. However, with the type 3 bodies, as you can see, you can't keep them close. Okay? But I know there's tutorials online that could show you how to keep it like that. And if that is what you wish to do with your doll. But I'm going to keep her the way she is. So moving on, her collar. You see right here. I'm not going to take it off because it's always hard to put on. It's connected by these two hooks. It is made out of velvet material, and but it's made out of good um, good material. It's not fragile. She also comes with her dress. And what you can see here, I'll take it off in a moment. It's like a belt bow on the back. I don't know you guys can see that. Try not to tamper with her too much. Um, her dress comes with several layers. It comes, of course, with this top one that you see. This white one. And a tool. Okay? Underneath, she comes with these shorts I guess back in the day it was like panties I don't know I suck yeah I think that's what it was and of course her stockings which I believe they're all the way long and I'm the reason why I'm not taking these off guys because it's hard to put on um, however since I do want to show you what's the difference between this body type and the other ones I will kind of take off her dress but it's hard to put on so I'm just gonna take off from like her I guess her chest down to her waist um, da -da 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 -da. so she also comes with this. This is what I was trying to explain to you guys. It's separate from the dress. It's just the her bow on the back. Um, her dress is connected by a hook, right? And on the other side, you will see a piece of small thread there. So you just hook it gently there. Um, so let me show you that right now. Um, another difference between this body and the type four bodies with pull up is that you could see their screws. Um, that is something that is different from the type 4 because the type 4 you don't see any screws, they're invisible. So, kind of sucks, but I think it's not so bad compared to the older pullet types because the older ones, I think you can see everything. Kind of sucks, and there's a lot of defects with those. And I will do a review on one of my older dolls to show you what I mean by that um, even though there's many out there I believe on YouTube but you know I like to do my own reviews so here we are let me gently you have to be careful with her arms because they easily crack um, so here you are oh gosh her collar so she's standing straight right now you could do this you see from her waist down that's a cool thing that the type 3 have bodies but let me tell you how that could also be a downer if you're the type of person that like to pose your pullet dolls a lot right for pictures or whatever the deal may be if you keep doing it so much with your type 3 um, after a while it will lose I guess you could say it's Oh my god again here I am airheaded with the lack of words it will lose its stiffness I guess you could say the way it stands um, but it will lose that and then through time it will just fall on her own so through time you she won't be able to stand straight when you have her on a stand she'll be like oh oh all lumpy so it kind of sucks um, if you do that too much so again be careful with these dolls um, if not if you're just like me that just likes to have them on a the stand and look at them and stare at them and be like, oh, they're so pretty. Then you're, then you're good um, with these. I always recommend that if you're trying to buy your first pull-up doll. Um, I'm trying to put the dress on, guys. So that's why I'm looking down. If you're trying to get your first pull-up doll, always let it be a newer body type. Type 4 because the type three and two and one you will find a lot of issues type four is the best in my opinion guys okay I know some other people may differ but with me um, type four is the best so if you're the first you're trying to get a pull up 
always try to get a type 4. If you can find a cheaper old version like type 3 body that, that's cheap $50 and below, go for it, play with her, but if you're really going to invest, go with the newer series dolls. Um, another thing that I've noticed with this doll is that her dress is a little big. Um, the problem with velvet is that, I don't know if I said it, it causes staining to her body. You found this issue a lot with all the rose and maiden dolls that were produced, um, that they stained their body. Um, with Shinku, I was lucky it has not stained her body. The best way, um, I, in my opinion, right, this is all my opinion, guys, um, to keep it from staining is always try to have the sleeves up in a way and don't have the hands touching any parts of the outfit if not through time I'm telling you it will I'm not saying it might no it will <laughs> stain their hands so with Shinku I always have her displayed on my stand with her mascot Kung Kung like this right so her hands are touching him not her outfit that is the best way I would say to, to display them so let me put this down for a moment um let's see she's so pretty um, Kung Kung, as I was showing you guys. Kung Kung is from the series. I don't want to sp spoil it for you guys, but it's her favorite. You'll see if you see the anime. I recommend seeing the anime. It's a good watch. I love it, and it was just released again, so watch it, guys. Um, it's not posable, but it's cute, but made of good, excuse me, material. I have hiccups again. She also comes with her card, which I was so excited, and I kind of wrinkled it on the way out. Which is so cute because it shows her displaying with her, shows her with her favorite plush. She, she loves this little guy. You guys have to see the anime. She also comes with this key. It's supposed to be a doll key. Um, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but if you see the anime, you will know where why it's included with the doll, okay? But it's a key. It's made out of plastic. It's durable. It has these little... I don't even know what to call it, a little line rope, I don't know, kind of texture to it. It's really cool, um, and it's made out of gold, golden bronze material. And she also comes with this very interesting letter. I don't know what it says, because it's in Japanese. I don't know if it's a prize, I don't know if it's something that has to do with the anime. I'm thinking that it does. I remember reading while well back that it was related to the anime, but I can't remember what it is now. Lastly, I usually don't show you guys doll stands, right? Because most doll stands are the same quality, same, we have the same material. But I'm going to show you this one, okay? Because it's made out of like tin material. And the reason also I'm showing it to you is because it's special. It actually has Rosen Maiden, um, you know, written on it. Um... The material kind of sucks because this material bends easily through time. You have to be very careful. It's very gentle. And through time, this will get rust. Um, the reason why I know is because I've seen it with other pull-up dolls that I have. It will catch rust. So if possible, try, another try to find another stand for her. If not, keep her here. But just keep watching it every week, which is what I do. That's how OCD I am with my dolls. Um, also, um, I don't know if I told you guys... Um, Rose and Maiden, um, this pull-up doll was made with the old company, the original company, Jun, Jun Pull-up, pull, what is it called? I think it's here. Jun Planning? Yeah, you guys will know. Um, so maybe the reason why she's like this is because the old company made her. I know now it's Grove that took that company, which those dolls now are better quality. So now let me sum everything up. So, again, she is from uh, Collaboration Rose and Maiden Anime Series. Um, let's see what else I could say. If you want to get her. Okay, so here we go. If you want to get her, just for the purpose of having your first pull-up, I don't recommend her. The reason is because she just comes with so many... The effects. One, her body type. The type 3's are not the best because of the whole natural cat cracking from the company. Two, her wig is just not the best. It's horrible. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It is horrible. Um, and also her, her outfit stains her, her body. Her Yeah, her body. So there's a lot of cons there. 
However, if you want her because you're a fan, like I am, of the Rose and Maiden series, go ahead, but just be aware that there's going to be a lot of effects with the doll, with the body, with all that stuff that I just mentioned right now. Um, but I think she's a great buy if you're a fan because she will represent the anime. Like I said, in the anime, she's a doll and she'll be, she'll be good in your collection. Um, another con that I see now is the price. This doll will not come to you cheap if you really want her. This doll, if you try to find her now, she will cost around 250 US to 300 US dollars. Um, it is very hard for you to find her less than that unless you find her by another collector that's selling her. Which I can tell you right now a little secret. There's this community on LiveJournal.com. It's called Pulip Sales. There's a lot of collectors like me there that sell you secondhand dolls. What that means is that they owned it and now they're giving it to you either did box or brand new okay um, you could find her there cheaper but you have to ask um, it may take you a while but I'm telling you I've seen her up there a couple of times so you could find her she, it's not like it's impossible but you just gotta do your digging like what I did I searched I got her I did pay a lot of money but I found her so um, and there you have it this is my review Shinku doll um, like I said if you're a first time pulling buyer don't get her get a type 4 um, if you're a fan get her there you go so here you are Pulip Shinku with her little cute plush, which is how this is how I display her on my stand. And that's so cute. See? There you are. So there's my review. Um if you has if you guys have any questions or concerns or whatever it is that's on your mind, let me know. I love answering to comments and I just like helping out fellow collectors like me because I know when um, I was trying to find pull-up dolls to buy specifically. Sometimes I couldn't find reviews on YouTube. It kind of sucked because there's a lot of deboxing videos of dolls. Okay, I understand they're going to debox them, but tell me what I'm buying. You know, tell me if it's going to be good, if it's going to be worth it, it's going to be expensive. Like, there's not a lot of videos out there on YouTube about that. So I'm trying to help out other collectors like me. So I hope you guys have a great day and see your comments soon. Bye!